got uh, everything put back together. Well, except for the brake rigging. Uh, but we're good enough to do a test on air. So here we go. This is uh, um, got about uh, 65 psi. Not that much going to the cylinder. A little bit of clanking, but uh, I think that's not bad. The movement's very smooth. The hissing you hear is the uh, drain cocks. I don't have them pressurized right now. I gotta hook them back up after I put the brake rigging back in. To get around here, the uh, cause for the test was uh, this driver. You can see the uh, steel ring that I put in, uh, press fit bushing. I um, cut down the axle, reboard the uh, driver, enlarged it, and uh, cut a uh, Cut down a bushing, a, a galvanized steel bushing. Uh, of course, the galvanization doesn't matter after you cut it off, so it's steel bushing. Uh, press fitted that into the driver and then turned the inside diameter of the bushing uh, so that it press fit onto the axle. And uh, it seemed to have worked uh, real well. Of course, we'll see, time will tell how well it will wear. But uh, I suspect, uh, since it's steel, it will do quite well. At least that's my hope. Wish I could zoom out on my Apple iPhone here. Alright, let's see about reverse. what happens when we put the Johnson bar in the middle. We hit that spot. Compressor turned back on. It's interesting, we pick up speed as we, uh, we move the Johnson bar. As we hook up is my understanding of what the term is. Go towards that center spot. And that's where the Johnson bar full open. That's some forward reverse movement. <laughs> of the uh, engine stand. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Alright, successful test.